Indriya literally belonging to or agreeable to Indra is the Sanskrit and Pali term for physical strength or ability in general, and for the senses more specifically. In Buddhism, the term refers to multiple intrapsychic processes and is generally translated as faculty or, in specific contexts, as spiritual faculty or controlling principle. The term literally means belonging to Indra, chief deity in the Rig Veda and lord of the Trayastrimsa heaven, also known as Sakra or Saka in Buddhism, hence connoting supremacy, dominance, and control, attested in the general meaning of power, strength from the Rig Veda. In Buddhism, depending on the context, Indriya traditionally refers to one of the following groups of faculties, the five spiritual faculties the five or six sensory faculties the twenty-two phenomenological faculties topic Five spiritual faculties in the Pali canon Sutta Pitaka, Indriya is frequently encountered in the context of the five spiritual faculties Pali, Panch Indriyani, faith or conviction or belief sada, energy or persistence or perseverance varia, mindfulness or memory sati, stillness of the mind samadhi, wisdom or understanding or comprehension panya, together, this set of five faculties is one of the seven sets of qualities lauded by the Buddha as conducive to enlightenment. SN 48.10 is one of several discourses that characterizes these spiritual faculties in the following manner faith, conviction is faith in the Buddha's awakening. Energy, persistence refers to exertion towards the four right efforts. Mindfulness refers to focusing on the four satipatthana. Stillness of the mind refers to achieving the four jhanas. Wisdom – understanding refers to discerning the Four Noble Truths. In SN 48.51, the Buddha declares that, of these five faculties, wisdom is the chief aga. Topic Balancing the spiritual faculties In an 6.55, the Buddha counsels a discouraged monk, Sona, to balance or tune his spiritual faculties as one would a musical instrument. What do you think, when the strings of your lute were neither too taut nor too loose, but tuned to be right on pitch, was your lute in tune and playable? Yes, Lord, in the same way, Sona, over-aroused persistence leads to restlessness, overly slack persistence leads to laziness. Thus you should determine the right pitch for your persistence, attune the pitch of the five faculties to that, and there pick up your theme. Relatedly, the Visuddhimagga and other post canonical Pali commentaries caution against one spiritual faculty overpowering and inhibiting the other four faculties, and thus generally recommend modifying the overpowering faculty with the investigation of states or the development of tranquility. Moreover, these commentaries especially recommend that the five spiritual faculties be developed in counterbalancing dyads. For one strong in faith and weak in understanding has confidence in critically and groundlessly. One strong in understanding and weak in faith errs on the side of cunning and is as hard to cure as one sick of a disease caused by medicine. With the balancing of the two a man has confidence only when there are grounds for it. Visum. Ch. IV, section 47, 1. I. Dillaness overpowers one strong in concentration and weak in energy, since concentration favors idleness. Agitation overpowers one strong in energy and weak in concentration, since energy favors agitation. But concentration coupled with energy cannot lapse into idleness, and energy coupled with concentration cannot lapse into agitation. So these two should be balanced, for absorption comes with the balancing of the two. Visum. Ch. IV, section 47, 2. One working on concentration needs strong faith, since it is with such faith and confidence that he reaches absorption. Visum. Ch. IV, section 48. Then there is balancing of concentration and understanding. One working on concentration needs strong unification, since that is how he reaches absorption, and one working on insight needs strong understanding, since that is how he reaches penetration of characteristics, but with the balancing of the two he reaches absorption as well." Visum. Ch. IV, section 48 the commentator Buddhaghosa adds Strong mindfulness, however, is needed in all instances, for mindfulness protects the mind lapsing into agitation through faith, energy and understanding, which favor agitation, and from lapsing into idleness through concentration, which favors idleness." Visum. Ch. IV, section 49. <laughs> Relation to the five powers 
In SN 48.43, the Buddha declares that the five spiritual faculties are the five powers and vice versa. He uses the metaphor of a stream passing by a midstream island. The island creates two streams, but the streams can also be seen as one and the same. The Pali commentaries remark that these five qualities are faculties when used to control their spheres of influence, and are powers when unshakable by opposing forces. Five material or six sensory faculties In the Sutta Pitaka, six sensory faculties are referenced in a manner similar to the six sense bases. These faculties consist of the five senses with the addition of mind or thought, manas, vision, hearing, smell, taste. Touch K Indriya. Thought Man Indriya. The first five of these faculties are sometimes referenced as the five material faculties, e.g., Pankanam Indrianam Avakanti. Topic 22 Phenomenological faculties in the Abhidhamma Pitaka. The notion of Indriya is expanded to the 22 phenomenological faculties or controlling powers, Pali, Bhavizati Indriyani, which are six sensory faculties I vision faculty, Kak Indriya, ear, hearing faculty, Sat Indriya, nose, smell faculty, Gan Indriya, tongue, taste faculty, Jiv Indriya, body, sensibility faculty, K Indriya, mind faculty, Man Indriya, three physical faculties, femininity, Itth Indriya. Masculinity, puris indriya, life or vitality, jivat indriya, five feeling faculties, physical pleasure, suk indriya, physical pain, duk indriya, mental joy, somanasa indriya, mental grief, domanas indriya, equanimity, upeka indriya, five spiritual faculties, faith, saddh indriya, energy, viri indriya, mindfulness, sat indriya, concentration, samadhi indriya, wisdom, panyu indriya, three final knowledge faculties, thinking, I shall know the unknown, ananyatanya samad indriya, gnosis, anyu indriya, one who knows. Anyata According to the post canonical Visuddhimagga, the 22 faculties, along with such constructs as the aggregates, sense bases, four noble truths, and dependent origination, are the soil of wisdom. Other faculty groupings At times in the Pali Canon, different discourses or Abhidhamic passages will refer to different subsets of the 22 phenomenological faculties. Thus, for instance, in the Abhidhamma there are references to the eightfold form faculty indriya rupam, which includes the first five sensory faculties eye, ear, nose, tongue and body faculties plus the three physical faculties femininity, masculinity and vitality. Topic see also ayatana sense base bodhi awakening enlightenment bodhi pakiyadama 37 enlightenment qualities five powers four right efforts prajna wisdom salayatana six sense bases topic notes topic sources bodhi bhikkhu trans 2000 the connected discourses of the buddha a translation of the samyutta nikaya boston wisdom publications isbn 0861713311 Buddhaghosa, Badantakarya and Bhikkhu Nyanamoli, trans. 1999. The Path of Purification, Visuddhimagga. Seattle, Washington, BPS Pariyati Editions. ISBN 1-928706-00-2. Cons, Edward The Way of Wisdom, The Five Spiritual Faculties The Wheel Publication No. 6566. Candy, Buddhist Publication Society. Retrieved on the 27th of May 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash con slash wheel 065.html. Nyanaponika Thera and Bhikkhu Bodhi, trans. 1999. Numerical Discourses of the Buddha, an anthology of suttas from the Anguttara Nikaya. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society. ISBN 0-7425-0405-0. Rhys Davids, Caroline A. F. 1900, 2003. Buddhist Manual of Psychological Ethics, of the 4th century BC. Being a translation, now made for the first time, from the original Pali, of the first book of the Abhidhamma Pitaka, entitled Dhamma Sangani Compendium of States or Phenomena. Kessinger Publishing. ISBN 0-7661-4702-9. Rhys Davids, T. W. and William Stade, eds. 1921-5. The Pali Text Society's Pali English Dictionary. Chipstead, Pali Text Society. 
A general online search engine for the PED is available at http colon slash slash dsal uchicago.edu slash dictionaries slash poly slash Thanissaro Bhikkhu Wings to Awakening, an anthology from the Pali Canon. Retrieved 27 May 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash thanissaro slash wings slash index dot html. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, trans. 1997a. Indriya Vibhanga Sutta, Analysis of the Mental Faculties SN 48.10. Retrieved the 27th of May 2007 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash sn slash sn 48 slash sn 48 .then .html. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, trans. 1997b. Sona Sutta, about Sona and 6.55. Retrieved the 15th of April 2008 from Access to Insight at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash and slash and o six slash and o six dot o five five dot then dot html